Only one company can sell food from carts in the French Quarter, but how much they pay for that right left some other vendors shocked. A political analyst says the exclusive deal and the fees associated with it are both frozen in time, cutting out potential revenue for the city and leaving other aspiring vendors on the outside looking in. Here's our latest Starving the Competition investigation. Stacy Schexnader worked in restaurants all over the city until four years ago when she opened up her own business right out of this food truck. So now it's time for me to be my own boss and see how I feel. Yeah. And this is my first opportunity and I thank the city of New Orleans and the people of New Orleans for giving me my opportunity to get my chance, my first stop. She's proud of her restaurant on wheels and the tasty food that comes out of it. Oh, I sell red beans, I sell bell peppers, I sell yakamine, I sell uh, meatballs, I sell ribs, stewed chicken, fresh soups, fresh salads. Oh my God, this is a kitchen, guys. This is not just a meal on wheels or just a food truck. This is an actual restaurant. During Mardi Gras, Schexnader set up the food truck near the start of the Uptown route. She received a permit from the city. The cost for less than two weeks, $500. I have two cotton candy carts and three novelty carts. Chad Young opts for a smaller Mardi Gras business, push carts. His fee, $100. They are valid from February 10th to February 21st. They felt the permit fees were fair until we told them about what Lucky Dog pays for exclusive rights to sell food from carts on the sidewalks and streets of the French Quarter. The fee for each cart for 365 days, $200. Wow, <laughs> for real? That, that seems kind of low. Again, for 11 days of the carnival season, these two business owners paid $500 and $100. Of course, during that same time period, Lucky Dog continued to operate on busy Bourbon Street with its annual $200 permit. Is the city getting a good deal here for taxpayers, only $200 per cart? No, it's not a good deal for taxpayers. And it's also not fair because there seems to be uh, an extreme disparity in, in what uh, the, the Lucky Dog folks have to pay and what other types of street vendors for Mardi Gras parades or other special events that, that have to get permits from the city pay. There just, there just seems to be a, a huge disparity in payment and, and, and uh, I'm curious as to why that is. A city ordinance from April of 1972 prevents all but one company from getting a permit to sell food on the sidewalks and street corner of the French Quarter. The ordinance says the only way to obtain a permit to be a vendor that continuously operated the same business in the French Quarter for eight or more years prior to January 1st, 1972. At the time, only one company qualified, Lucky Dog. Dillard political analyst Dr. Robert Collins says giving one company essentially a monopoly in the French Quarter is lucrative for that business. And a $200 yearly fee per cart is not a good deal for taxpayers. If the city put this out to bid for exclusive cart access in the French Quarter, do you think the city would be able to get more than $200 per cart? Certainly. I think if they put it out to bid, uh, it would be a very competitive process. You would have a lot of vendors that would be interested in 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 getting the the permit. So I think you would you would have a very robust competition, and I promise you it would it would drive the the permit price up much higher than it is now. So at the very least, in your opinion, the taxpayers could be getting more money out of this. Taxpayers certainly could be getting more money and should be getting more money um, based based on the fact that um, the, the prices that, that all other vendors have been paying have been, have been going up over the decades. And for some reason, that $200 that, that Lucky Dog has been paying has not increased. It seems to be frozen in the 1970s. Back when the council passed the ordinance giving Lucky Dog exclusive rights, Richard Nixon was president, Moon Landrew mayor, Robert Collins was wrapping up first grade. So yeah, I was I was six. So since you were six years old, this has not this changed. has not changed since I was six years old. And it's really surprising that a member of the city council hasn't taken a look at this. I mean, the you know the leadership of of uh, that particular district of the French Quarter district of the city council has changed hands many times since then. It's surprising that at some point in time, you know, a member of the 
the city council hasn't taken a look at this and said, you know what, maybe the, you know the taxpayers of the city should should you know get a get a, a better deal on this. It's just surprising that nobody has seen fit to to investigate that grandfather clause. These vendors know the rules and know they better stay away from the city's most lucrative tourist area. Well, we are not allowed to go within. Uh, three to four blocks of the quarters because we're not able to. But they're hopeful other businesses will soon be able to compete for work and they're asking the council to stop starving the competition. When do you open opportunities for other people that have started their new businesses as well? Lucky Dogs didn't respond to our request for a comment on this story. Lucky Dogs previously released a statement uh, which said, in part, the owners of Lucky Dogs were not involved in debating the 1972 ordinance and our company was not a party to the litigation that followed. We love New Orleans and cherish the fact that locals and visitors alike love our products and consider our distinctive carts and vendors an integral part of the French Quarter's unique charm.